Petco Park game three of the four game series between the NL Central division leading Cardinals and the Padres as San Diego takes the field. Let's take a look at the lineups for the Redbirds of Tony LaRusso. Schumacher leading off, then Ryan. There's Pujols in the three spot. Pretty good career numbers against Correa. Then Holiday hitting cleanup. Ludwig, Rasmus, LaRusso playing third. Molina catching and Carpenter batting ninth. Evan Correa makes his 26th start, and we are underway with the first pitch to Schumacher, a strike. Kevin Correa has probably had the most consistent year of his big league career. Every time out, going out there in the least, trying to give you six or seven innings. He's had a few hiccups, but as far as mechanically and being able to bounce back, he's been pretty consistent. Darren Balls, he said, he's worked hard in his bullpens, and it's paying off from start to start for Kevin Correa. Underway on time at 7.05. 70 degrees at game time tonight. A 1-1 to Schumacher. Schumacher got the night off from the starting lineup last night for the Cardinals. And San Diego had a lefty starting pitcher, Clayton Richard. Schumacher did pinch hit late in last night's game. Ricky ball up and away, two and two. You know, some humidity in the air tonight. Some there is some humidity. Humidity. And I uh, wonder if that's going to affect the travel of the baseball tonight. I remember pitching in this type of weather. I love pitching in high humidity. You break that sweat, you stay wet, and you, you know you, you stay loose. You don't dry up like in Arizona. You know, in Arizona spring training, you break a sweat, you go out there pitching in, you sit in the dugout, you get, you're in the desert and you dry up. You know, you like to keep that that sweat going, that lather. Two two to Schumacher leading off the game. Good swing and a miss at that high breaking ball, that off-speed pitch. And that's the way the game begins. A strikeout of Schumacher. It's the San Diego defense tonight. In the outfield. Blank squin and Vinable. How about the night? Will Venable had last night mm. in right field. The Great Prince catches. Tigers. Yep. He was busy out there. Good night with the bat, a couple of doubles. Good all around game for William. St. Louis shortstop, Brendan Ryan, takes a first pitch strike. An average not far from the 300 mark for Ryan. Play nothing at two on Brendan Ryan. Wax it in the center field for a base hit. Waited on it. And on an 0 2 pitch, Brendan Ryan singles to center. He was robbed last night by Venable. Our Home Depot doing more on defense play. Home Depot more saving, more doing. And how about. William laying out. Oh, yeah, hang a star on that one. Will can do it, and he can help. That's the slogan, anyway. You see where I'm going there? What it says in the yearbook. <laughs> Just off the outside corner to pool holes. Oh, we have a, a cuteness uh, f uh, alert. Alert. There you go. That's the word I was looking for. Sighting. Sighting. That, that was the word, actually. 2-0 to Pujols. One for eight in the series. The average now at 317. So the triple crown talk dying off since Hanley Ramirez of Florida has been hitting over 400 in the last couple of months. And Ramirez... Leading the National League in hitting. Albert still leading the league in homers with 39. And he's second behind Prince Fielder of the Brewers 
in RBIs with 105. Frank Call, two and two. Well, one thing for certain in this series, this being game three, the Padre pitchers are proving that this guy can be pitched to, right? I mean, sure, he's going to hurt you with the long ball, the extra base hits, hit for average power, the whole shebang bang. But he can be he can be pitched to. In the dirt and a full count. And the Ramirez of Florida, by the way, leading the National League in hitting coming into today with a 360 average. 30 points better than Pablo Sandoval of Florida, who's second. Let's see if they start Ryan here. Pretty good bet that they will. There he goes. And it's outside ball four. Two on, one out in the St. Louis first inning. And clean up hitter, Matt Holiday, the left fielder. Big, big key last night for Clayton Richard. We mentioned in the pregame show, the walks did not come back to haunt him. They did not score, right? And another factor, Clayton Richard, of the hits that he'd given up, five hits. Deep center field. Uh -oh. Tony back, and that's going to find the beach and over the beach. Mm. Holiday, a three-run shot here in the first. His sixth is a Cardinal. His 17th overall on the season. And Matt Holiday, first pitch hacking. I was just about to say, Clayton Richard last night gave up five hits. And according to my book, Mark Neely, they were all singles. No extra base hits. Well, different story here. Let's check it out. Tracks down, middle and Kevin Correa knew it. And Holiday taking that ball to the second baseman side of second base, going to the beach. Mm. Well, each game of this series now, I've seen an early... Home run dictate the flow, so to speak. And here's Ludwig fouling it out of play. There was the grand slam in the second inning from Brendan Ryan Thursday night. Last night, three run homer in the bottom of the second from Hundley of the Padres. And now here in the first tonight, and a holiday three run blast. Well, last outing against the Cubs, Kevin Correa surrendered two home runs, but prior to that, Prior to his last outing, six straight outings where he did not surrender a long ball. And he had been keeping it in the yard. One, two to Ludwig. Frankie right ball is high. 425 feet. Yeah, that ball actually went beyond beach. That was the first step. In the um, the sitting area there, just beyond the beach. Opportunity for the shortstop and Cabrera throws out Ludwig for the second out. Oh, how stoked is Richie Cunningham there? <laughs> Got a foul ball. <laughs> nice going, young man. That's awesome. Two outs for center fielder Colby Rasmus. You know, at second look, that kid looked familiar. That might have been Ronnie Weisbarth, the kid that we saw in spring training last year, making his way over to you know, San Diego. There he is. <laughs> nice split finger grip you got there, kiddo. Left center field and Gwynn. Makes the running catch for retire Rasmus. Oh boy. See you in the big leagues. Keep it low. You'll be fine.
Playing center field. X died at second base with Adrian in the three spot. Headley hitting cleanup. Will Venable is in right field. Hitting over 400 against the Cardinals this year. Blanks in left tonight. Blanco catching. Cabrera playing short. And Correa batting ninth. An early three run lead for Chris Carpenter. And yeah, the numbers look great. Innings, hits to innings pitch. The walks way down. You're going to get something to hit, but it is electric stuff. Now that Chris Carpenter is healthy. Two seamer, four seamer, curveball, and a changeup. And you know what is another big story about Chris Carpenter, Mark Neely? His velocity. Been creeping up there lately. I'm talking 95 to 97. On the ground right side. And Schumacher throws out Tony. Here's the Cardinal defense brought to you by SD Storage, where one dollar moves you in. Go to sdstorage.com to find a store near you today. Holiday. What do we get the corner outfield spots? Rasmus is in center. Nine errors by their center fielders. Six by Rasmus. Here is Zach. Takes a strike. John Smoltz will make his Cardinal debut tomorrow. Okay, a little inside information here. Back to the mound. Reaching up. Martin with the other hand toss to Pujols, two outs. Going to bring up Adrian Gonzalez. By the way, tomorrow is the fourth annual Celebrity Staff Night, which benefits the Adrian and Betsy Gonzalez Foundation at Aqua Aldui Restaurant. And the gas lamp. And it's still not too late. For you to participate, here's the website. AGonzalez23.com. Get your tickets. After the game tomorrow, red carpet arrival is at 5.30. The dinner is at 6 o'clock. Rockwell Dewey's 322 Fifth Avenue. Okay, Adrian and Betsy and their foundation do great things for the community. Adrian giving back. And his teammates will be chefs, waiters, and bartenders for the charity event tomorrow night. So there's still a chance for you to participate in that as well. Two and one on Adrian. Two outs, bases empty in the San Diego first. Down and in. Hey, by the way, the Shula Vista kids won 15 nothing today. Hey, a little inside information about John Smoltz. You know how much I love the Redbird stirrups? Mm hmm So I'm talking to John in his locker the other day, and he's got a pair of those stirrups hanging up in his locker. I said, dude, you got to go high pants, show the stirrups on Sunday. He said, I'll do it just for you. So I'm wondering if he's going to do it tomorrow. Like Ryan, Brendan Ryan at shortstop. He's a lot Adrian. I love those. So you're saying Smoltz has promised you that he's going to be supporting those tomorrow. Yep. We'll see if he lives up to that. Smoltz against Carrillo in the finale of this series tomorrow, 105. First one up high to Chase Headley. Again, congratulations to the Shula Vista kids that shut out Kentucky 15 0. They hit seven home runs in that game. Wow, that one kid had three, right? Yeah. Um, they, did they, there's a 10 run rule, right? They, that's what five? they did. It was, it was, they, they run ruled. Good for them. It's always nice to get that first one under your belt, huh? They got that one going away. One strike, one and two. Kentucky kids, by the way, had only one hit. Cardinal right hander Chris Carpenter. Carpenter gets his first strikeout. A two out walk to Adrian, and he is left on. After one.
Schwarber. Out of three up for the Cardinals in the top of the second inning. And third baseman Mark DeRosa starting things off. And he takes the first pitch strike from Kevin Correa. Two twenty six average as a Cardinal hit two seventy in seventy one games with the Indians. Rosa Molina and the pitcher Carpenter for St. Louis. We run homer in the first for Bad Holiday. 1 1 pitch. Fouled off Henry Blanco. Oof. That, that foul ball didn't look like it got glove. Looks like it got him ooh, off the right shoulder. Oh. So you want to be a catcher, huh? <laughs> And umpire Ted Barrett went out to the mound to give Henry a little time. That is inside to DeRosa. Thank <laughs> you, yeah. kids, with baseballs already tonight. Good for you. Breaking ball into center field. Rosa leads off with a base hit. Wednesday is officially free and easy at the Del Mar Racetrack. Diamond Club members enjoy free stretch on admission, free reserve seating, and a free program. Plus, enjoy half price domestic draft beer, sodas, and hot dogs at select stretch run concessions. Catcher Yadier Molina. Three sixty seven average in the month of August. Good double play candidate. You know, one pitch that Kevin Correa has really thrown well this year, and I think it's really helped his repertoire, is that two seam fastball that he brings back to righties on the outside part of the plate. Guys give up on it, called for a strike. Guys try to pull the ball. Produces a grounder. Liner caught by Eck, throw to first, and double up to Rosa. Well, they do get the double play off the bat of Molina. It's not your traditional ground ball double play, but two outs nonetheless. So hard. Watch the runner. Line drive. It's so hard to freeze. You can be told a, a thousand times. It's just natural human reaction to take that step towards the next base and it works in the Padres favor pitcher Chris Carpenter six for 43 this year and a career average right at 100 it's like that time when I went camping with my dad and my mom when I was a kid the Coleman lanterns where they get really hot my dad tells me Mark don't touch the lantern right by the campfire right Mark, mm -hmm. don't touch the lantern. What did Mark do? Touch the lantern. I touched the lantern. I got burnt. Never did it again. But my point is, it's like the line drive. You know, you're running, you're leading up, you bang. Hard hit ball. Okay, I got to go. Eh, right at the guy. Get doubled up. It happens. Sometimes you touch the lantern. That's the only analogy I can come up with. Right out in front of the plate. Picked up by Blanco. He throws on Carpenter. Coming up a little bit later, more camping with the Grants. <laughs> Interval leads off when we return.
Be sure to get your tickets early and save online at Padres.com. First pitch up high to Venable. Going green tonight. <laughs> the bag's given away. Channel 4. Part of the promotion tonight. Venable, Blanks, and Blanco in the San Diego second. 3 nothing Cardinals on a first inning three-run homer for Matt Holliday. Boy, when Carpenter can paint with that. I mean, that, that's 91 miles an hour, but a little bit of movement on the inside part of the plate. Look at the location here. I mean, Molina doesn't even move his glove. I and mean, when he's got that going, and then the hammer, huh. You ever stood next to Chris Carpenter? Big man. The guy's a house. Yes, he is. He's thick. He's tall. He, he's just he's just got a great physique for a pitcher. At the first base line, in fair territory, pool scoops it up right near the bag, and then tags Vinable as he goes by. This Carpenter, 6'6", 230 pounds. That's a keeper. 34 is here. 34 years old now. Tell you what, cute kids must have gotten free tonight. Love to see that. Well, you know, school's going to be starting soon, right? So you, mm -hmm. you get out to the ball yard as much as you can. Ricky ball low to Kyle Blanks. This is ugly cameraman night. <laughs> Jimmy G, should you be back at school? Don't you go to Faber? Two balls and a strike. Nine homers for Kyle, including one that didn't even have to leave the ballpark. Mm. 96. 96 mile an hour sinker. You see the movement on that pitch? Our gun had 96 on that. Wow. Mm. Second strike out for Carpenter, two outs. Well, of the 35 earned runs that Chris Carpenter's give up, we take a look at that 12 to 6 curveball. My goodness. From nose to toes. Of the 35 earned runs he's given up, 18 have been in the first three innings. So if you're going to get him, you know, you've got to try to get him early. His last two starts, 18 strikeouts in 15 innings, and he's only walked one. Mm. That is command with filthy stuff. Well, he came in tonight with a 2.27 ERA, best in the major leagues. 13 wins. Despite missing five weeks, 13 wins. He got hurt in his second start, April 14th at Arizona. Injured while batting, strained an oblique. Didn't come back until May 20th. Center field to his left, Colby Rasmus. And the Padres go down in order in their half of the second. Nothing across. Cute kids everywhere. We're going to the third here at Petco Park.
select seating sections. Enjoy two-for-one prices on tickets and Wiener Stencil hot dogs on Wednesday, September 2nd at 1235 with Padres two-for-one getaway days presented by <laughs> Southwest Airlines. First pitch hack at Schumacher, foul pass third. Okay, it's official. San Diego leads the league in cuteness. Cute kids. We already knew that, though, right? Yeah. Oh, my. Bo's back. Hey, we're trying to keep people to watch, okay? Goes up after it. Tomahawks it towards left. Diving! Yeah! Kyle Blanks! <laughs> the eight train on defense. You go, train! He is an athlete. Left-handed bat. That ball is slicing. It's coming into Blanks, and yes, he catches it in the heel, cradles it nicely, shows it for the out. Very nice. That's like a 4.2 on the Richter scale, too, when he hit the ground. He felt that all the way down into Baja. Right going to Brendan Ryan. It was a nice play. I went Venable last night, right field. We showed that now. The train out left. I am the one who was robbed by Venable last night. Out of the dirt from Correa. Ryan tonight singled in the first and scored on the holiday three run homer. Hey, in a game like this, you know, you're pitching. Kevin Correa gave up the three-run shot, right? And your defense makes a play for you like that. That picks up your spirits. Center field, Tony trots in. Two away. This is an empty for Albert Pujols. Loops it in the right for a base hit, his second of the series. Two out single. You pretty much give that up to Albert every time. Oh, absolutely. I mentioned it last night. You keep him in the yard, well, you might walk him. Take your chances that way. But the Cardinals have proven that other guys have picked up the slack, like they did in St. Louis, right? They like Holiday did in the first tonight with a three run home run over the beach in right center. Did that on the first pitch, takes the first pitch here. And after the slider, a ball and a strike. Cardinals, one of the best uniforms ever. It's pretty much stayed the same. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Slowly right side. X has got a long way to go. He's got to hurry it there. And he can't get it in time. It's an infield hit for Holiday. We're going to be taking a look at second base. The crew holds back to the back. You know, how many times has Matt Holiday cue a ball that way? Because generally speaking, the infielders are playing back, right? I mean, this is the number four hitter. And David does everything he does because back where he was playing, he's got to charge it and then throw it. Or underhand it, I should say. So two on with two outs. For Ryan Ludwig, the right fielder. That's such a toolbox for this guy. A lot of work to be done. 18 homers on the year. You might need the crescent wrench and the vice grips to get out of this. It's low, a ball and a strike. Well, I've said it before, but having Henry Blanco back there behind home plate 
that, that gives a pitcher, I feel, more confidence to throw the breaking ball in a situation when there are runners in scoring position or even a runner on third. Because you still have to utilize your pitches, right? You just can't rely on throwing fastballs all the time, right? Sometimes you have to bury that fastball. High drive, center field. Win. Back pedaling onto the edge of the warning track. Ludwig flies to deep right center field to win the inning. How important was this catch to begin the frame? Kyle Blank. Park Sunday, August 23rd at 105 and get a free Padres backpack. Padres bat in the bottom of the third with the eight, nine, and one hitters. And Everett Cabrera picks up and away from Carpenter. 3 nothing St. Louis on a three-run homer in the first for Matt Holliday. Right down central for a strike. The baseman DeRose in on the grass. Carpenter pours in strike two. Everett in the pitcher, Correa and Tony Gwynn. You know, with the stuff of Chris Carpenter, that last pitch. And he gets him with the breaking ball. The pitch prior to this one, which that's just playing out filth. But remember the pitch prior to that? Everett took it right down the middle. Mm -hmm. He must have been guessing. I mean, Car my point is, Carpenter has three, four pitches that are above, above average that maybe as a hitter in the back of your mind, a certain count, you're thinking, okay, maybe this, and then all of a sudden, bam! Right down the middle, taken for a strike. You might see a lot of that tonight. Then what does a hitter think at that point? As Correa bounces it out to Schumacher. Away. Big appetite, small budget, satisfy both with Saquon Casinos. Incredible all you can eat prime rib buffet now for only ten dollars. From a hitter perspective, I imagine if you take a pitch right down the dish from Carpenter, at that point you're thinking, wow, there it was. I'm not gonna see another problem. Tony grounded out to the second baseman Schumacher in the first. One time through the order, the only Padre base runner, a two out walk in the first to Adrian Gonzalez. There's a 
breaky ball and strike two. One ball, two strikes. Baseball earrings with the Padre logo. That's how small the ball is looking tonight with Chris Carpenter out there. <laughs> it's a little aspirin coming up there, huh? Now, when I was out there, it was like the size of a beach ball. Beach ball. Yeah. Two two. And left side diving and Ryan did it get him. Rolled awkwardly. He did make the catch to win the inning. And appears to be okay. Nice catch oh. and rolled over on that shoulder. Got an order to go to Padres. Shortstop Brendan Ryan to win the Padre third inning. First base strike to Colby Rasmus. The more I look at this, truly remarkable. Yeah. And I think he rolled over on that shoulder. He obviously paid the price for it. It was a painful catch for Ryan. But when you look at that, there's a lot of things. You know, you're, you're talking wrist, elbow, neck. shoulder, neck. Held off of Rasmus. The body is just not made to bend certain ways. That was a heck of a grab, though. Rasmus flying to center in the first inning. Oh, he smokes one. Look out on the beach. That gets over the beach. 13th for Rasmus. It's 4-0 St. Louis. Second Cardinal home run of the night. They've both been in that general direction. Well, what really hurts about that one is that Rasmus was in the hole one and two, and that just catches too much of the plate. It looks like Henry wanted it up. You can see his glove, the target being up, maybe above the waist a little bit, but Rasmus drops the head. Kevin wishing he could put him away. Rasmus' his first homer since his walk-off homer on Sunday in St. Louis to beat the Padres. Appeal denied a first base umpire Todd Tishner. Rookie Colby Rasmus now 13 homers, 41 RBIs. Line 
Side into right. Base hit for DeRosa, his second. It is the top of the fourth inning, so let's get to our Aflac trivia question. Aflac! Name the pitcher that gave up the most hits to Ted Simmons in his career. And a hint, it's a pitcher that's in the Hall of Fame in Cooperstown. Okay, let's see. Ted played in Atlanta. He played in St. Louis. He played in Milwaukee. So I'm thinking divisions. Uh, back then, St. Louis was in the East. Milwaukee was in the American League East. And Atlanta was in the West. When Ted briefly ended his career there. That's a good question. Very good question. And then the answer a little bit later on. Well, the first guy that I thought of actually uh, is the answer. I asked Eddie Barnes, and uh, I was correct, so I won't say anything. Off the outside corner to Molina. And, yeah, I would have to say the answer of tonight's half-life trivia question is it was a pretty darn good pitcher. After all, like you said, he's in the Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame, Famer, yeah. Four forty-five on the home run for Colby Rasmus. Slowly towards third. And he goes to first. And gets Molina to roast it down to second. The pitcher is up, Chris Carpenter. Well, Chris Carpenter right now pretty much sitting on top of the world, huh? Looking down on creation. I wonder if rainy days on Monday get him down. The top of the fourth. He's only just begun. Check of the runner at second. The race to stage put two outs. Padre fans, the Padres invite you to enjoy Sunday breakfast at the park. You can enjoy specialty breakfast items at select concession stands every Sunday home game. And enjoy your breakfast from tables on the outfield warning track or the batter's eye porch before the game. Do get here early. Seating is first come, first serve. And park at the park gates open at 10.30 a.m. Again, your next opportunity tomorrow. Visit Padres.com slash breakfast for more details. Breakfast at the ball yard. How sweet is that? It's been a great success. If you haven't done it yet, come out tomorrow and give it a try. They have tables behind home plate as well. Seriously, how many times do you get to come to a big league ball yard and have some breakfast where, where the big leaguers play? It's a great experience. And the reports on the food's been very good. Very tasty. Fouled at the plate by Schumacher and was robbed by Kyle Blinks. Schumacher's last at bat. O2 pitch. By Correa. And he steps off the rubber. Line into left. Barosa. Here comes the throw from Blanks. And now down to second. Safe. RBI single for Schumacher scores DeRosa. 
And it is 5 nothing. Oh, two outs crack of the bat. DeRosa is off and running. And Jose Okendo, he's got the windmill going. So he's going to send him. Ball hit sharply, too. Schumacher went down and got it. Two hopper by Kyle Blanks. Thrown it in. And just, you know, with two outs, he got that lead. That secondary lead on the crack of the bat. He's going. And then very close at second base. But heads up base running by Schumacher. Now another runner in scoring position. Held off by Ryan. He singled and scored in the first, and then the third fly to center. By the way, that home run for Rasmus to begin the inning, measured at 445 feet. Mm. That's definitely going to go top 10. Longest home runs ever here at Petco Park. They're probably going to go in the top seven or eight. Well, I know Andrew Jones' name is up there and Russell Brannion also, right? Correct. Those two at 453. But Adrian made better that earlier this year. The two on pitch. Good slider from Kevin Correa. You know, it's amazing. You throw 100 pitches, 110 pitches to pitch a gym, but just maybe one or two make a difference in a ball game. It's been one or two pitches in this ball game that's made a difference. The three run shot by Holiday, solo shot by Rasmus. Ryan lines it right at the shortstop, Everett Cabrera. Lead off homer by Rasmus. And Schumacher knocked in DeRosa. Redbirds add two more and lead 5 nothing. First pitch strike to David Eckstein. Good news today involving Eck. Resigning for next year, so he's back in the fold for 2010. Foul away. I know Bud's happy, KT's happy. David's happy. Joe Fan is happy. Absolutely. And you know, the, the one thing that really sticks out during batting practice, I went up and congratulated David. And the first things he said, 
He goes, I like this team. I believe in this team. And you know what? If that's coming from David Eckstein, that's all I need to hear. Rinky ball up over his head. You got to get the bat down. Right? Yeah, we've almost, seen, almost we've seen foul balls. Or mm -hmm. Balls put in play, actually. Like that. Two, two to act, leading off the fourth. Looks at foul. Only Padre base runners so far. There's a two out walk in the first to Adrian Gonzalez. Carpenter. Past him. And that's going to be an infield hit for Eck, the first San Diego hit of the game. Carpenter got a glove on it and slowed it down. And it slowed it down so much that neither Ryan or Schumacher had a legitimate shot to get Eck. Well, let's answer our Affleck trivia question. Affleck! And it's a good one. Name the pitcher that gave up the most hits to Ted Simmons in his career. And the answer, Hall of Famer, Steve Carlton. 34 hits for Simba off of Carlton in his career. Off from the right side, right? Switch hitting catcher, batting righty off the lefty Carlton. Mm -hmm. But what's even as interesting is who Simba had his second most hits off of. And that's another Hall of Famer. Uh, don't tell me. Um, Adrian hits one in the air. Right field and Ludwig. A few steps for the warning track. Makes the catch for the first out. Back to first goes X. Oh, I love this stuff. Teddy Simmons came up yeah. first as a Cardinal. He's hitting off Randy Jones. Look at Simba with the no gloves. There at Bush Stadium 2 in St. Louis. There he is behind the plate. Thrown out Ozzy. That's awesome. You know what's unbelievable about Ted? He, he just wore his cap backwards with a mask. No helmet. Yeah, just turned it around. How dangerous is that? I mean, a lot of guys did it back then. All in a strike to Chase, who fanned his first time. That good first one out, 5 0 St. Louis in the fourth. Yeah. Gathered by Schumacher out at second, and the double play ends the inning. Not an easy play for Schumacher to initially come up with that. 4-6-3 ends the San Diego fourth.
Mid-game recap from Petco Park is brought to you by Murray Lambert Construction. You need more space for quality, integrity, and value. There's only one company to call. It's Murray Lambert Construction. Get on the web. Go to murraylampert.com for more information. Mark Neely. Thanks, Bud. Pools leading off. Top of the fifth, 5 nothing St. Louis. Albert has walked and scored in single. Strike on the outside corner. By the way, the pitcher that Simmons had the second most hits off of. Let me guess. Let me guess. Harvard said, was number one. You said another Hall of Famer, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking National League East. I'm going to say one of my favorite pitchers of all time growing up was kid, Tom Seaver. Tom, terrific. You are really? Correct. Tom Seaver is number two. One, two to Pujols. Got him. The strikeout is the second of the game for Correa, his first since he got Schumacher to lead off the game. Kept the ball away. Let's check out the swing of pull holes. All upper body. And that's just a two-seamer away. It almost looked like by that swing he was guessing something off speed maybe. Made up hitter Matt Holiday, the left fielder. Break your ball up and away. Holiday hit the three run homer in the first. Triple the single to the right side in the third. Charged and taken by Headley. Retiring Holiday, two outs in the fifth. There's Sean Gallagher on the right, Latos on the left. Gallagher came over. In the trade from Oakland. Trying to come back from a knee injury. There's a chance that he could pitch in the big leagues this year with the Padres. They just have to wait and see how the knee responds. So keep him on the radar. And certainly for 2010. They load up on the pitching, right? That's what KT and the Padres have done, haven't they? Mm-hmm. Gallagher had another bullpen today. He's going to go to Peoria while the team takes the road trip to Atlanta and Florida. Breaking ball strength to Ludwig. Three breaking balls in a row. One two pitch. Four breaking balls in a row. That was a little tight slider. Looks like he threw him three hooks. And then the short breaking ball there. Slider, curveball. Yeah, going with the old number two. Ludwig is grounded to short and fly to center. 0 for 2. Nothing but breaking balls this head bat. Oh, try to sneak a piece of cheese by him on the inner half. There you go. Oh! Where did that <laughs> miss? My goodness. Down the middle doesn't count? Well, he wanted it in, but obviously it was right over the middle of the play, wasn't it? He didn't hit his spot, but it was a right down the dish. So, Ludwig gets another crack at it. And sends the fly ball to center field. Wynn makes the catch. 
Make note of the date and time. There is a speechless Mark Rand in the broadcast booth at Petco Park. fun around every corner. There's live entertainment Thursday through Sunday at the Main Stage Bar, and of course the Lobster Buffet is great. Join the Players Club to get a free Lobster Buffet, but you know what's great about Valley View? The entertainment. Look at that. Don't be a clown. Go to Valley View. <laughs> Back to your juggling. Yeah. I learned uh, in grade school with fruit. Apples with and oranges. oranges. Yep, oranges are the best. Mm -hmm. They're good for you, too. Venable fouls it back. Ball at two strikes. We're into the San Diego fifth, 5 nothing St. Louis. You juggled when we were in Milwaukee on camera. I did. That's because one of the relievers for the Brewers was Mark in the Mark Felice. Was That's down. right. He was better than I was, though. Because he was doing the, uh, the kind of the wraparound thing. Yeah. Right? Two, two to Will. Thank you. One count. Will ground it out to Pujols in the second. Three two from Chris Carpenter. Ranging to his left. Ryan. Out at first. Well, Ryan's first movement actually was to his right. Then had to go back to his left. Mm, very close. Very, very close. He might have been out. What do you think, Mark? Really? Might have been safe. Really? It might have been on the bag there. Really close. Bang, bang. Ricky ball inside the blanks. You know, it's plays like that where I'm glad I'm not an umpire. Those are tough calls, you know? Yeah, that's about as tough as it gets right there. That's one of those almost whatever way he calls it. Exactly. First 3 0 count for Carpenter. In fact, he had not even been to a 2 0 count. <laughs> 3 1 pitch. Just so tough to square one up on Carpenter. We've it seen is so much of that tonight. I don't think I've seen a straight, you know, like the four seam power fat. We saw a 96 mile an hour sinker.
you foul pass first. Padres have had one hit so far. That was an Eckstein infield hit. He went off the glove of the pitcher Carpenter. And there's ball four up and off the bit of Molina. That's the second walk given up by Carpenter. For catcher Henry Blanco, who flied to center in the second. Out the foul right side. Five nothing St. Louis. They got a three run homer in the first from Holiday, solo homer in the fourth from Rasmus, as well as a Schumacher RBI single. Padres yet to get a base runner as far as second off Carpenter. You know, we talked about the great pitching that the Cardinals have. But when you talk about walks per nine inning in the National League, they've got number one and number two. Joel Pinheiro is one walk per nine innings. Carpenter is 1.3 walks per nine innings. And he's over his limit tonight. He's got two. Seven pitches for Carpenter with one out in the fifth. On the left field side, foul. Well, here's what the single starting rotation has been able to do for their bullpen keep them fresh. And to let you compare bullpens. The Padre bullpen has thrown 100 more innings than the Cardinal bullpen this year. Mm. 100 more innings. Of course, the Padre bullpen has thrown more innings than any other bullpen in the National League this year. Two-two. And he gets Henry. Cut her off that outside corner. And four strikeouts for Carpenter, two outs in the inning. You know, when you get ahead with the electric stuff and then you have the location, the, the ability to throw that breaking ball off the plate, Carpenter has the ability to throw for strikes, no doubt about that. His numbers show that. But then when he's ahead, you flip up that slider with the nice tilt to it. Guys have to protect, they think it's a strike. Look at a miss by Cabrera. Richard Spot due up next. And Salazar is coming to the Ombeck circle. Cardinal bullpen has thrown 330 innings, fewest in the National League. Padres bullpen has thrown 435 innings, the most in the National League. Wow. But their ERAs aren't all that different. Cardinal bullpen 3.89, Padres 3.95. I think the Padre bullpen has been a very pleasant surprise mm -hmm. this year. I was just going to say a lot more workload for the Padre bullpen, but you know, putting up basically good numbers, that's a good sign. Back to back strikeouts for Carpenter to end the fifth. After the one out walk to Blanks after five, five nothing St. Louis.
Tickets from July or August as early as possible to get the best possible seats. However, all exchanges must be completed at least 24 hours in advance. So bring your unused season tickets to the Petco Park advanced ticket windows. Nice crowd here tonight on Saturday. Sixth inning baseball now. And Colby Rasmus leading off for the Cardinals who lead it 5 nothing. We haven't gotten an attendance figure yet, have we? Not yet. What are you guessing? I'm guessing you're right at down. It's outside. Rasmus leading off the fourth. Hit one 445 feet over the beach in right center field. Top 10 longest homers in Petco Park history. Back to the screen. That's Mr. Rosan Molina in the St. Louis sixth. Just off the outside corner and now a full count. Ray at 86 pitches. Straight away center field. Wind coming in for it. One out in the sixth. Now what do you know is brought to you by Radio Shack. Here's Dave McKay, the first base coach for the Cardinals. And he made his big league debut on this date, August 22nd at 75, and homered in his first at bat as the Twins beat the Tigers 8 to 4. He's been with Tony La Russa a long time. Long, long time. With Oakland, all these years in St. Louis. Another one to center field. Tony has to back up a few steps to catch. That one off the bat of DeRosa, who had singled his first two times up. Dave McKay's in his 14th season as the Cardinal first base coach. His 24th season on Tony La Russa's coaching staff. He was La Russa's first base coach in Oakland from 89 to 95 as well. Andy Molina's 0 for 2. Back towards the bound, off the glove of Correa. And the bare hand pickup, but no play for Cabrera. So Molina has an infield hit. Hit number nine tonight for St. Louis. And ends a string of six in a row, retired by Kevin. Well, he got jammed. He made his pitch, just hit the wrong spot. And the ball not hit sharply. It, 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 that's just a pitcher's reaction, trying to get a glove on it. If uh, if Kevin lets this one go, you can see the reaction by Kevin. Boy, if I let that ball go, my shortstop makes the play for me. Carpenter into right for a base hit. I'll tell you what, pitchers have been reaching base at a pretty high rate in recent, what, last couple of weeks? Yeah, that high rate is making the opposing pitchers irate. Yes. Making the Padre pitchers irate. Mm -hmm. Loesch singled last night in the fifth. Which, by the way, put him on the disabled list today. 15 ADL. Sprain left groin. They've recalled Mitchell Boggs, the Cardinals have. who had just gone down when they activated Smoltz. And he's right back up. Thatcher's up in the San Diego bullpen. At the pitcher spot, due to lead off the bottom of the inning for the Padres. Have to get Correa through the six. Schumacher, one for three with an RBI base hit. Has the count in his favor here, two and zero. Oh.
Cardinals up to 10 hits. They had 10 hits combined in the first two games of this series. They had five hits on Thursday night despite winning 5-1. They had five hits last night despite being shut out 4 nothing. Which always goes to show you that seeing how many hits the team has a lot of times doesn't tell you a whole lot whether they're going to win or lose. Mm -hmm. It's what you do with those hits. The extra base hits, you know, you can have 10 hits with 10 singles. Fouled. And some of Blanco popping up because Molina, the lead runner, was about halfway between second and third. He was going to try to, I think, throw behind throw him. Throw behind him, yeah. Outside, three and one. And a walk loads the bases. The three had gotten the first two. That comebacker that went off his glove for a two out hit, and now it's mushroomed into bases loaded. With Ryan coming up and Pujols on deck. Eck trying to buy a little time also by having a little chat with Kevin Correa. If Joe Thatcher's been up a while, I would have to say that he is ready to go. Because you've got righty, righty, righty. Righty's all the way up until uh, Rasmus again. So it's not going to be a matchup thing. Right. You just need a new arm. A fresh arm. This pitching chain is brought to you by San Diego Harley-Davidson. Where we are always country first. The way is finished after five and two thirds, and the lefty Thatcher will come on. Products membership is open to all who live, work, or go to school in San Diego County. Well, for the Cardinals, it'll be Brendan Ryan, and then take a look at Joe Thatcher's numbers. And as you look at the matchups here, righty's hitting 288 off Joe Thatcher, lefty's hitting 167. But you know what, though? I remember talking to Bud Black a couple times. It was last year. And there were times when the Padres didn't have any lefties in the bullpen, right? They had righties, and you know, the bottom line is a big league pitcher should be able to get a big league hitter out. He faces Brendan Ryan. One for three tonight. Ryan up with the bases loaded. He has a grand slam in this series. Thursday night, second inning. Off Stauffer. His first career grand slam. Waited 4 0. They will go on to win the first game of this series, 5 to 1. He hold up. It's a strike nonetheless. Cuteness sighting. Mm. 
Fastball is outside. Reaches out and rolls it right to Adrian. He takes it himself and wins the race by a step and a half. Cardinals lead the bases loaded and have now stranded six. On the pinch hitter for Thatcher. Timers game at San Diego. Bob Gibson gave up a homer to Reggie Jackson. Then a year later, what did he do? Strike him out, give up a homer, brush him back, and, well, you know, give him. Brushed him back. Uh huh. He's been an old timers game. Luis Rodriguez bats for the pitcher Thatcher here to begin the bottom of the sixth. Speaking of Bob Gibson, I think they should go back to raising the mound again. Give the pitchers a little bit more. I mean, the, the strike zone is the size of a shoebox as it is already. Now fly out into left left center field and Holiday. Is it in? But they lowered it to uh, what ten inches? I think so. After after yeah. Gibson's after year in '68, we had the 1.12 uh, ERA. Top of the order and center fielder Tony Gwynn. In the first, he grounded out the second, and then the third popped out to short. Up there starts him with strike one on the inner half. Dodgers shut out the Cubs today, 2 0. Left center field, Rasmus in to make the catch. So the Cardinals would have a chance with a win tonight to go up eight games in the NL Central. Here's former Cardinal David Eckstein. Uh, Padres tonight really haven't squared up many baseballs. Well, they only have one hit, but that doesn't mean that there were some, might have been some hard hit balls right at somebody for outs, right? Not too many hard hit balls, but. I think a lot of it has to do with that guy on the mound, yeah. Chris Carpenter. Well, I mentioned the time that he missed, about five weeks, which certainly hurts his candidacy for the Cy Young Award. He won one in 2005. And it brings up the question what's the most time any Cy Young Award winner has missed on the DL? And quickly disposes of back and records a six strikeout. Carpenter rolling through six.
home game at Petco Park. Here at Petco Park on this Saturday night. We're into the top of the seventh inning, and the new hurler for San Diego is Luis Perdomo. Enter Gumby. He's got the rubber arm, and he will give you innings. See the numbers for Luis Perdomo. What's nice, you know, the walks. It's kind of cut down on walks last couple outings. Still high. As far as hits to innings pitched, less hits than innings pitch, and I think with each outing, Luis Perdomo is feeling a little bit more comfortable out of the bullpen for the Padres. And three and a third on Wednesday against the Cubs. Walked one, which was intentional. Mm -hmm. well, these are matchups I'd like to see. The youngster, Luis Perdomo, against Albert Pujols. Foul back. The 94 mile per hour heater. Albert walked and scored on the holiday three run homer in the first. He will single the right in the third and struck out in the fifth against Kevin Correa. Right call. Albert shaking his head. On the right field side, slicing, long run for Will, and out of reach near the visiting bullpen mound. Three eighteen average, thirty nine homers, one hundred and five runs batted in. Another MVP caliber season for Albert Pujols. Perdomo wins this battle. He gets the strikeout for the first out of the seventh. Time for our Subway $5 footlong fan poll. Text Subway to 269 411 to participate. Greatest player in Cardinals history. You could extend this out, you know, Rogers Hornsby, Dizzy Dean, a few others, but Stan Musial, Bob Gibson, or Albert Pujols, A, B, or C. Tom Pagnazzi should be in there. <laughs> Mike Laga. David Green. Mike Shannon, one of my favorites. Big boy, hey, big boy. You got three minutes for me today? Radio voice of the Cardinals still. Usual. Gibson. Pools. What yeah. do you think? What about Hornsby? Yeah, Rogers Hornsby's. The extended that list out would be a good one to add to the list. There's Mike Shannon, radio voice of the Redbirds, show me the ears. Hey, Marco, you got three minutes for the pregame show? Did you ever hear his home run call? Get up, get up, get up. Get up, baby. Get up, baseball. Yeah. <laughs> he is an institution. Yes, he Louis. is. Yes, he is. You know, his career was cut short. It was by a kidney ailment. Yes. I mean, he almost died. In fact, yeah, they gave him. They gave him like six months, didn't they? To live. And now he's, what, 70, 72 years old? Going strong. Going strong. He's a member of world championship teams. And the Cardinals play third base, outfield. All four to Holiday, who's on base for a third time. And Mike, you teamed up for many years with legendary broadcaster Jack Buck. Mm -hmm. Nice restaurant in St. Louis, too. Mike Shannon's right across from the ballpark there. Has a radio show every Saturday night after the ball game. Mm -hmm. Little corner there, little corner table. He's got the radio equipment. That gets by, and down to second goes Holiday. Boy, is Mike Shannon a great storyteller, too. Oh. And he doesn't embellish the stories. You know how stories get more out of, you know, out of hand yeah. as the years go on. No, Mike has great stories about Sandy Koufax, about Tim McCarver, about Bob Gibson. Some of the best radio I've ever heard involving baseball, baseball stories, has been him at his restaurant 
late nights. There's his son behind you him. See the guy in the orange shirt behind yeah. him? That's Timmy Shannon. He yeah. played football at USC. Mm -hmm. But him talking with Willie Mays in oh, his restaurant yeah. or whoever may have stopped by to talk baseball with Mike. I know it's an old saying in baseball. You can use it with a lot of hitters, but somebody tried to throw a fastball by Albert Pujols, and they, he hit it for a home run. He goes, trying to throw a fastball by Albert Pujols is like trying to sneak a sunrise past a rooster. <laughs> Out of play right side. <laughs> Two and one on Ludwig. Getting back to our poll, though. I mean, Pujols has had a great career. Mm -hmm. I got to move from usual because he was a Cardinal his entire career. Pujols may be a Cardinal his entire career. We'll mm -hmm. see. I mean, he's a free agent, one in a couple of years. Nice. There's a strike on the outside corner. If Pools finishes his career as a partner, mm -hmm. perhaps he'll surpass music. He may play, you know, who knows how long is he going to play? Is he going to play 20 years? Is he going to play 15 years? Who knows? We don't have a crystal ball, but if he remains healthy and as a cardinal for the next 10 years, whew. maybe wind up. And that's up through the middle, but cut off. Cabrera turning, spinning, throwing. And Adrian with a nice dive to prevent the ball from getting loose. A hit for Ludwig. Holiday over to third. Adrian's play saved a run. And the Cardinals have runners at the corners with one out. You always have to hold your breath and keep your pen on your scorecard if you're scoring at home. Because Everett Cabrera can get to a lot of baseballs. Did you see Eck hit the deck there? Eck had to hit that because he didn't want to get a, a fastball from Cabrera <laughs> in the noggin. Right at the corners for Rasmus and a nice pick out of the dirt by Blanco. Rasmus hit a solo homer in the fourth. Ninety-six miles per hour outside. Two and zero. Going to bring out Darren Balsley. Not the strikeout of Pujols to begin the inning, but the next two have reached. Which good for attendance there, Cha Cha. Paid attendance tonight, 38,156. What was your guess? I guessed a little bit lower than that, but you were right on. You guessed 32,586. I guessed 38,638. Off by 482. It looks like I win the uh, the grand prize. If this were the price the of rice, you would have gone over, though, and you would have been out. Oh, that's right. Wah, wah. <laughs> Foul down the left field side. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for playing, Mark. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> Three and one. Boy, if Perdomo can learn to locate the fastball eight out of ten times, inside, outside, man, he's going to be a good one. It's that one by Rasmus at 95, three and two. <laughs> Count with one out. Oh. 
He holds up, asking for the appeal. Don't switch the third base umpire Mike Winters. And a walk loads the bases. Well, let's see if he went. Well, I thought, oh my gosh, I think he went. Yes. Yes, he did. He hits it, it's a double. Well, of course, he didn't go. Well, they're loaded for Mark DeRosa. Popped up. Backing up at. Midfield fly at effect. And he makes the catch. Two away for the eighth spot of the order. Yadier Molina. Yeah, with an infield hit his last time up is one for three. Off the outside yeah. corner. Not yeah. missing by much. That's at 96, that last pitch. Pace is full of Redbirds with two outs in the seventh. Five nothing St. Louis. First inning of work for Perdomo and his 2 0 to Yadier Molina. One pitch. Heck. Making the flip. Close. Just getting the speedy Erasmus for the fourth side. What was your guess again for the attendance? I went over like 400, so I'm out of the showcase. We have some nice party gifts for you. Diego and tonight's San Diego fans of the game and 38,156 nice crowd on this Saturday night at Petco Park
Cardinals scored three in the first on a Matt Holiday home run. Added two in the fourth. He did five nothing. Bottom of the seventh, and Adrian Gonzalez leading off. Big breaky ball drops in for strike one. Adrian in the first walk into the fourth fly to right. Delta towards right field, sinking Ludwig coming in, and it drops for a base hit. Only the second San Diego hit of the night. He's one of the few that we've really seen squared up nicely by a Padre hitter tonight off of Chris Carpenter. Absolutely. And it's a high pitch. I don't think that was by design. But once in a while, Chris Carpenter will make a mistake with a pitch. It's just a matter of catching up to that mistake. And Adrian is aboard with a safety. Chase has grounded into a double play and struck out. And it's another double play ball. Schumacher, Ryan Pujols. 1-6-3. Probably still have not had a base runner. Even reach second tonight. Strike one to William. Will is grounded to first. Grounded to short. 0 for 2. That's down and in. Eighty-eight pitches from Carpenter. With two outs in the seventh. Well, the Cardinal pitching staff adding on to the number of grounding the double plays that they've had this year. One hundred and seventeen now. They lead Major League Baseball in that category. Now that's a good stat to have. Which has helped them. Their starting staff work a major league high in innings this season. 769 yep. coming in tonight. How about Chris Carpenter? Two outs here. This will be the 92nd pitch to complete. Melted down the right field line. That is fair. Nice. By inches, quickly gathered by Ludwig, who fires it in, but Venable in with a slide. There's a double and a base runner at second for the first time tonight for the Padres. Williams 10th two base hit. I'm just going to mention 92 pitches. Carpenter had a chance. Seven complete innings of 92 pitches. And William keeps this one fair. You know, he likes to flirt with that right field corner now. A couple doubles last night, a double tonight. Strike the blanks. Walked in his last plate appearance and fanned in the second. And the Padres do have a runner at second for the first time tonight. Mark, remember earlier in the game I mentioned about Chris Carpenter of the 35 earned runs he's given up this year, 18 come in the first three innings. But you, you talk about a workhorse who gets better as he goes on. You can smell the finish line. Of the 35 earned runs he's given up this year, after four after the sixth inning. Wow. Only four after the sixth inning. You talk about a guy who's nails when it gets late.
one of those nights when you're a pitching coach, you can just sit back in your rocking chair and kind of enjoy a big league ball game. Right. What Dave Duncan can do tonight, that's yeah. in the dirt. There are some nights when you're just pulling your hair out and biting your nails down to the clips. And then there are other nights when you sit back and watch Chris Carter go for it. Play right side. Middle with second with two outs of the San Diego seventh. Two hits in the inning for the Padres and three overall in this game. Out of the way. And a walk puts blinks on. The Carpenter's now walked three and twice. He's issued a free pass to Kyle Blanks. Blanco. Did he check? He did. The three walks for Carpenter tonight. A season high. He had not walked more than two. And then he start coming in. It's the call on the low outside corner. His fly to center and struck out. On the ground is short. Ryan makes the flip. And the force play ends the inning. Two hits, two men left on, and the Padres have now stranded four. Here is tonight's Cabo Woodstain legendary performance. Let's just go back three years, August 22nd of 06, when PV Landbrink and Hoffman combined on a five hit shutout of the Padres' 1 0 win over LA. It's a pretty nice trifecta right there, huh? PV Landbrink, mm -hmm. Hoffman. Back to the hill is Perdomo for the top of the eighth inning. And Ann Keel batting for the pitcher, Carpenter. With seven innings for Carpenter, scoreless, three hits. 
He's and I three walks struck out six. And Kyle McClellan getting ready in the Cardinal bullpen. Out straight back. Center field and Ann Keel. The pinch hit home run, 6 0. Straight away center. That is the third Cardinal home run of the night, number 10 on the season for Ann Keel. He went down and got it too. He's some kind of strong, isn't he? That ball went up near the uh, the plaques up there, the monuments. Out to short and Cabrera low stretch. Got him. Adrian stretching down the line. Bring up Brendan Ryan. Earlier in the game, Ryan had a very nice defensive play. Scores like freeze camp. Tony, a little flare left side. And I'll tell you what, that didn't feel good. No. So many things could have went wrong right there for Brendan Ryan. He hits it to the alley in left center field. Blanks on his horse, but he's going to have to chase it all the way to the 401 mark. With his speed, Ryan chugging for third. Here comes the relay, a little offline. And Ryan has his sixth triple of the season. I think Ryan was taking triple right out of the box. And, you know, usually when it go right center field down the right field line, you can almost mark it down. But this is a two hopper. Good speed from Ryan. Didn't break stride. 13th knock tonight for the Redbirds. Two holes, one for three. He's fanned his last two times up. Only the third time this year he's had two strikeouts in a game. They've all come on the road. Right on the outside corner. Pujols was the first batter that Perdomo faced when he entered the game of the seventh. High chop foul. Began with a Rick and Keel pinch hit home run. And Keel had a pinch hit home run here at Petco Park last year, May 21st of Gathers himself and gets back to the rubber. Infield in with Ryan at third, one out. Six nothing Cardinals in the eighth. And Pujols fans for a third consecutive time. You go, Luis Perdomo. 
Little slider. Away. And another bad swing by Albert. He wasn't on that one. Ryan Webb loose hitting now for the Padres. How they got things going tonight for the Cardinals with a three run home run over the beach and right center in the first inning. He's added an infield hit and a walk since then. Two out of three. You know, it's just checking the out of town scoreboard. How about the Wumpin? The Boston Red Sox put on the New York Yankees tonight. 14 to 1. After the 20 to 11 game they played? Yeah. They came in a whopping and a whooping. Red Sox now six and a half behind New York. How about the Colorado San Francisco game? 14 to 11 winners. The Rockies over the Giants. 12 to 2. Buckos over the Red Legs. Yeah, a lot of high scores tonight. A lot of runs. Ron Holiday's former Rocky team. Milwaukee beat the Nationals 11 to 9. Rockies, by the way, now two games up on the Giants in that wild card race. Five pitch walk to Holiday. He's on base for a fourth time. One thing for sure, Luis Perdomo will chew up some innings for you. Might throw a lot of pitches, but he's got that durable arm. And it looks like the left hander is going to make a double switch. Salazar going to replace Blanks in left field. And they had Webb up in the bullpen. With a pitcher spot due up second at the bottom of the inning. This pitching change brought to you by your San Diego Hyundai dealers. Summer gas prices are rising. Lock in $1.49 a gallon at San Diego Hyundai dealers.com. And a big right hander out of the Padre bullpen, Ryan Webb, a sinker slider cutter curveball, a spike curveball at that. In fact, you know what? Well, I got him in it. Talk about the spike curveball from Ryan Webb. You know, we talked about. Buddy Black the other day in the dugout about it. You know, traditional curveball would come over like this way and let the ball travel like this. Some guys will spike it with their uh, their finger right there. And I believe Mike Mussina. Didn't Mike Mussina he, he throw that spike ball. curveball? Just spike to get curve. that ball up and over that middle finger for the spike. I like them apples. But he said he was never one that used I, the spike. I couldn't control it. And there were some pitches you did have 
some command off. I did, believe it or not. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Down in the dirt to Ludwig. I remember the late great Jack Buck. We were having a discussion one time. And always good for a, you know, a one-liner since the Cardinals are in town, right? He said, Mark, you would have been one heck of a pitcher if the strike zone was low and outside. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, coming from him, I thought that was pretty awesome. If Jack Buck, the late great Jack Buck, can say that about me, I'm fine with that. <laughs> That's classic. Ludwig one for four with a single. Here's a strike from Webb. Going away up and in, right? That's what you do to pitch. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's half of it. Unfortunately, they just never called it for a strike. The slide in the dirt, they never called it. Two on, two outs, two two. Grounded right side through the hole. Ryan scores the seventh run of the game. Ludwig with his 75th run batted in. So Ryan drives in Ryan. With Ryan on the mound. We got Ryan's all over the place. Yeah. Ryan Ludwig singling off Ryan Webb to bring in Brendan Ryan. Will be Rasmus. And you're never going to believe what Colby's Rasmus middle name is. Um, Maximus. Ryan. Is it really? Colby Ryan Rasmus. How about that? A very popular name in the 80s. Where was he born? Like 86? August 11th of 86. Unbelievable. I'm so old. One one pitch off the outside corner. Rasmus had a 445 foot home run over the beach and right center field in the fourth inning. Two and two. Cardinals have hit three homers tonight. And they have seven runs on 14 hits. Padres score this on three hits. Blocked by Blanco up the first baseline. The runners hold. Ryan Webb, the fourth San Diego pitcher of the night. Correa went five and two thirds. A third of an inning from Thatcher and Perdomo, an inning and two thirds. And his takeoff on the 3 2 pitch, fly ball to the left, and Salazar came in as part of the double switch. Making the grab. St. Louis adds two. 8 9 and 1 scheduled for San Diego.
the lowest price on your new furniture. That's Jerry's price. Greetings from our best seat winners tonight. Into the San Diego 8, there's a new Cardinal hurler, Kyle McClellan. McClellan pitched a third of an inning back on Thursday. Zeroes all the way across. All the way by Cabrera leading off. And Keel stays in the game in right field. Pitcher McClellan batting in the spot vacated by Ludwig. Every fan in the third and in the fifth against starter Chris Carpenter. In Carpenter's line, seven innings, no runs, three hits. Carpenter walked three, a season high for him. In fact, he hadn't walked three since June 13th of 2006 at Pittsburgh. Wow. Struck out six. Well, he may have walked three, but he looked sharp to me. McClellan, fastball, slider, curveball, changeup. Good running fastball there. One out of the eighth. Wednesday is officially free and easy at the Del Mar Racetrack. Diamond Club members enjoy free stretch run admission. Free reserve seating and a free program. Plus enjoy half price domestic drafts, sodas and hot dogs at select stretch run concessions. Salazar. Part of the double switch. First pitch hacking. Oh, he loves to hack, doesn't he? He's a hitter. Third foul. Salazar, who came over from the Orioles with Clay Meredith. Took a big rip, wound up. On his backside and strikes out. Two away. Center fielder Tony Gwynn. Ball one low for McClellan. Ground of Pujols. Shovel to McClellan. And the Padres go one, two, three in the eighth off the Cardinal right hander. This game will move to the ninth. St. Louis.
September 11, 2001, with a special Friday fireworks presented by Padres Banking at Bank of America. Mark DeRosa leading off. And it's standard to be Thurston batting for DeRosa. Seven runs, 14 St. Louis hits. Padres scoreless on three hits. And the 0 1 to Thurston. Too much early, uh, early firepower, huh, from the Cardinals? But that three run homer, the first from Holiday, really set the tone tonight, didn't it? The way this series is gone, it's whichever team gets that early home run. Mm -hmm. There's the upper hand. Line in the left field, and Salazar races in to make the grab. Race time. Well, Salazar can play a lot of positions. You can plug him in the infield. And of course, in left field right now, that's not an easy play. The sinking liner to left. Catcher Yadier Molina is one for four. He's after the first pitch and a liner right to act. With a little hop. Pulls down out number two. Whether that ball had some funky spin on it or if it had some uh, knuckle action. Ball hit sharply and Eck, nice two handed grab. Okay, Keel, first pitch, first pitch hacking. He hit a pitch hit home run. An inning ago, stayed in the game and took over in right field. Two. Well, John Smoltz will make his Cardinal debut tomorrow against Cesar Carrillo for the Padres on the air at 1 o'clock tomorrow. Game number 126 tomorrow. Rolling through him. Mm. You know what, for teams like the Padres, the games are going pretty quick. But I bet for teams that are right there in the thick of it, it seems like there's a lot of baseball still to play for them. Yep. We get to that 162 mark. Cardinals, though, win tonight. And they're going to be up eight games in the NL Central. With three outs away from that, Ryan Webb has worked an inning in the third. Of scoreless relief. Last chance for the Padres. Heart of the order, though. Eck, Adrian, and Headley.
ten dollars. Bottom of the ninth inning, St. Louis seven, Padres nothing. And a lefty takes over on the mound for the Cardinals, Denny Reyes. The big sweat once again on the hill for St. Louis. Situational left-hander. He pitched the fifth inning last night. One inning, one strikeout. He's had himself a nice little career, hasn't he? He has. The guy who came up initially with the Dodgers. Mm -hmm. New battery, Jason LaRue. Cardinal catcher. Heck, fly ball in center field. Backing up on Erasmus. He was playing shallow like he normally does. And the back pedal to make the catch. Thurston has stayed in the game and is playing third base. Adrian is singled, walked, and fly to right. Padres have yet to get a base runner to third tonight. And they had only one base runner reach second, and that was when Venable doubled with two outs in the seventh. Down the left field line and slicing foul. And the Cardinal offense tonight, seven runs on 14 hits. And again, they really did the damage tonight for the most part without Pujols, who was yep. one for four with a single, a walk, and a run scored. Pujols struck out three times tonight, which equals the most he's ever struck out in a game, ninth time in his career. Last time was August 11th of last year at Florida. Oh, two to Adrian Gonzalez. It gets by. LaRue has to throw to first and does so low but in time. The strikeout is the second out of the ninth. Padres down to their last out. Well, the win tonight for Carpenter will make him 14 and 3. Will make Carpenter 83 and 36 lifetime as a Cardinal, which means that the Cardinals win 73 percent of his starts. Unbelievable. And they'd only do it from the pitching standpoint, right? They do it by acquiring other players. And since acquiring Matt Holiday. On July 24th, their record is 19 and 8, best in Major League Baseball, and holding out tonight to win will be 14 and 3 in the month of August. Mm. You know, we've seen hot teams. The Dodgers got out of the gate best in the National League. I think the Phillies were playing the best baseball in the National League at one time. But right now, I think the Cardinals are no question playing the best baseball They're in tough. the National League. There's a two on to chase. Cardinals down to their final strike. Cardinals a strike away from taking two of the first three games of this four-game series. Time was given. The Cardinals, who were shut out here last night, four nothing by the Padres, kind of returned the favor and shut out an opponent for the eighth time. To right field near the line, fair. Skips in the foul territory, and Headley into second. That's the second Padres. Reach second base tonight. 23rd double though for Headley. The 
the pods try to avoid being shut out for a tenth time. Winnable has the other Padres double. Which came in the seventh. Side from Ray is 2 0. Three and nothing. Four pitch walk to Venable. Going to bring up the pitcher spot. And they'll bat for Webb with Kevin Kuzminoff. Cruz has been used as a pinch hitter before this year, but does not have an official at bat as a pinch hitter. And has an RBI as a pinch hitter. Left center field, and Rasmus makes the catch. And the Cardinals shut out the Padres tonight, seven to nothing. We got the early three-run homer from Holiday, and when it's seven-zip, we'll take a timeout. We'll come back and wrap things up for Petco Park after this.